What is happening, guys? Welcome back to more Tales of Vesperia. So, continuing on, let's get these monsters. Get the treasures. Oh, man. All right, all right. Poor Esteliz, she's so... She's such a, like, a sweet girl that doesn't know anything. Next week, can you do that? So I'm gonna try and get through the entire sewers in this part. Alright, line up. Just getting warmed up. Oh, I feel so powerful. Isn't she cute? Not quite waifu levels of cute, but she's pretty cute. She's adorable and like daughter you you you're proud to see grow up kind of sense. Money, 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 money. Guess we can do this. How's this? What'd you like? Oh, you got you got an attack up boost. Okay. That's a baby one. Was easy. Should let me check something here. I should be able to. Strategy full charge, leave it to me. I know there's what like you can basically set up some level of AI strategy so I can get her to like always buff Yuri first or something along those lines. Sorry if I hurt you. It'll be a hundred years before you. Ba -da -ba -da I just want to get out of the sewer. I want to start getting my party. Dragoon waifu. Guess we can do this. Dragoon waifu is one of my favorite. You get this lancer chick later. That's pretty much just crazy good. We're done. Remember her being good. I remember the mage being pretty good. Sorry if I, I know the you. the knife guy is okay. That's the guy that was in prison with us. We get him later. He's a dual knife rogue kind of dude, like rogue ninja. Just getting warmed up. I feel powered. Man, it's bright.
It's already morning. I wasted an entire night. Looks like it led to the royal quarter. Everything looks so different from the windows of the castle. Ah, oh, come on. You sound like this is your first time out of the castle. Uh, well, I... I guess a lady who lives in a castle can't just take a walk outside whenever she wants. Yes, you're right. Well, hey, at least we made it out of the castle. <laughs> um, was that not right? <laughs> no, it's fine. So, Esteles, what are you going to do now that you're out? I'm going to find Flynn. Do you know where he went? The other day, he said he was going off on a night's pilgrimage. Oh, that thing. Going around the cities of the Empire, piling up good deeds? Yes, that's why I'm going to the City of Blossoms, Halor. Halor is the first place that knights traditionally visit on a pilgrimage. So you'll need to go outside the barrier. Have you ever been beyond the barrier? A little while back. I'd like to go, but I can't just leave the lower quarter like it is. Come on, I'll show you the way out of town. It's on the way to the lower quarter. Thank you. I believe I'm already an hour and 13 minutes into this. Like, I know the first episode was an hour long, but, like, it just goes so fast. It's weird, because, like, something like, like, uh, the new Dragon Quest, which people raved about, I couldn't really mesh with. And this... Just sitting here, trucking along, like, yep, this is my jam. turn-based combat that I just couldn't get down with. You there! Fugitive! Halt, I say! The jig is up! Fools! Enough grandstanding! Arrest him! What should we do? First you pick up one of these, then go like this! <laughs> now! Let's get to the lower quarter. to the castle and had the most marvelous time there. <laughs> of all them, then who's the young lady? Pleased to meet you. I'm Estelise. The pleasure is all mine, miss. Uh, more importantly, uh, about those Imperial Knights. They've been so busy looking for you, they haven't paid any attention to our fiasco down here. So you've really managed to tick them off, huh? It looks that way. Has Repeat come back yet? Sure did. He was carrying some bag. What happened to it? it? Should be up in your room. Go pick it up later. Give it a shake. It has a nice jingle to it. Mordio liked it too. You met Mr. Mordio? Yeah, but the rat left town. Apparently he's someone important from a city called Ospio. Left town? Well, then that means we've been hoodwinked. Afraid so. His house was empty, and I doubt he's even a real noble. I see. Looks like the Aquablasty has finally stopped leaking water. 
Well, without a core, it won't budge. Is there enough water for the time being? Yeah, but it won't last long. After that, we'll just get it from the river. Mm, get the runs, though. <laughs> and the knights aren't gonna help. Guess I'll go get it back from the thief myself. What? You aren't thinking of following Morty over beyond the barrier, are you? Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Who's worried? It's a good opportunity for you. No need for you to hurry back here. Huh? What do you mean by that? What I mean is, we can get along just fine without you. Even Flynn used to say, I wonder how long Yuri plans on living this life. Flynn needs to learn to mind his own business. Grab the bag from the house. Wait, this is the inn in a tavern. Where's my place at? It's up here. I know it's like on the second floor. So, yeah, here we go. Here is your. I gotta get the, uh, what's it called, too? I know there's, like, free DLCs that came with the game that I gotta check out. I need to thank whoever told you about this underground passage. Wow, that's loud. Why would you need to be thankful for something like that? I'm trying to get out of the castle just like you. That's all well and good, but there's no need to be all thankful because of it. Oh, no. We must show courtesy to those who show us kindness. Sort of weird to be polite to somebody you've never met, don't you think? Manners are never so important as when dealing with those with whom we've yet to be acquainted. You really think so, huh? I know so. Okay. Um... That's where the synopsis goes. I don't think it is there. GM, sound effects, battle voices, uh, skit volume. Cut that down a, a notch or two. Right. Let's see, where do we go? Huh. Giving my two lackeys a headache. Now be a good boy and turn yourself in. Well, that's our cue. Looks like I won't be coming back here for a while. Never a dull moment with Yuri. After this, I'll be even with you for getting that money back. <laughs> and just make sure you don't kick the bucket blowing it all on some crazy party. <laughs> Same to you. See that you don't go dying in any ditches. Wait for me. It was nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, he'll probably be quite a pain in the neck. You make sure and take care of yourself now. I will. Thank you. When are you going to fix the fountain, sir knight? Hey, cool, a knight. Hooray! Hooray! Uh, won't you help this old man sign his denture? <laughs> Fools! You're in my way! Better than nothing, considering people don't normally leave the city. 
You'll have to fill in the empty spaces on your own. First off, you should head for Dayton Hold to the north. <laughs> That water looks like poo. Like, that's poo water. Wow, Yuri. They're all gonna miss you so much. Honestly, they're probably thrilled to finally get rid of me. Hey, hold it. Who put money in here? I, I can't take this. Halt! Get out of my way! Uh, I guess I'll have to keep it for now. <laughs> get tripped by a dog, my dude. Nice one, Rapide. A dog? Well, for now, it's north to Dayton Hold. What? Oh, right. I'm not sure how long we'll be together. But here's to the road ahead, Estelle. Yes, I... Huh? Estelle? 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 To the road ahead, Yuri. Well, so long for now. We hope to be back soon. And I got repeated. Now the journey finally begins. There are too many. One at a time. One what? at a time. I can't remember. I know you can uh, switch like who you play as. Sonic Dog. You can't win. <laughs> You want revenge? Bring it! You can play as the dog too, by the way. Insane. Probably end up doing a party of like Yuri, Stell, Dragoon Waifu, because and then Mage. The Mage AoEs in this game are, are sick. Like they wipe enemies out. and even money. Your friends are so generous, Yuri. <sighs> they can't afford this. They can barely get by as it is. Well, I'm sure they're worried about you and want you to have a safe journey. <laughs> it's more likely they're just glad to be rid of a troublemaking kid. That's not true. Guess I can't come back empty-handed now that they've given us all this stuff. Now I gotta bring back the Aquablastia, no matter what. Tone that down even further. in case it's movie and not skit. Oh, I'm pretty sure those are the skits.
Uh, now we're good. Traveling in's pretty dope, though. Kill one of these things yet. Let's get this over with. Ooh. There's some bees. Good for me, I need materials. Why are you using you don't need to be using all this stuff, Pete? Get away from Estelle. Can't just go all out. I, I'm sorry. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot. Oh, I feel so powerful. Let's see if I can set that up a little bit. Skills. Strategy, moderate, full charge, defend. Oh yeah, that's good. I don't have anything I need for cooking yet either. A bunch of these little things. Like I swear, there's a way to like dictate how how uh, heavy they use arts and like, healing it. thresholds. Not to the same level as like FF12, but you can uh, definitely remember being able to dictate that to some extent. Knights followed you here? I wonder. Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay. And I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. Alright. Let's see if we can just pass through the hold. Where's she off to now? Welcome. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? The special techniques contained in weapons. These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil. But the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by the person using the weapon. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Kritia gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. I thought Bodhi Blastia only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. It all depends on your preference. If weapons you equip have weapon skills sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. If you have a weapon equipped, you can use the weapon skills sealed inside whenever you want. However, if you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Each weapon skill belongs to one of four different categories. When you set a few different skills in a weapon, depending on what category they are, 
A particular glyph will appear on the core of your Bodiblastia. So, if you had a bunch of weapon skills for attacking, you'd see a glyph called Fleck. That glyph lets you know the strength of your physical attacks has gone up. Try all of the combinations you can think of to see what they do. I'm afraid the sun would set long before I could explain them all to you. Did you get all that? You learn fast. You should be able to read all about it in that young lady's book. I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. <laughs> huh? Did you say something? I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing, but it's yours if you like. Thank you very much. Is that book any good? It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish. Battle book. So weapons are to check back when you want to find out more. Oh, I want to see. Uh, back step. Well, I mean, I suppose it would be good to give everyone a new weapon, right? Okay, it did it did save that. We're getting that, and then hard mail for you, an iron guard for you, and that should be it. Yeah, I didn't throw a magic guard backstep. Great, now we're starting to work down weapon skills. I know once I learn those, and go from there. Don't have synthesis unlocked yet, but we got some new skills, which is good. So we're gonna wrap things up here for now. Uh, the current game plan with this series, perfect, I'm yeah. um, going to probably stick to two episodes a day, just because we're coming up towards the end of Souls, Souls will probably finish um, early next week, I'm thinking, and then um, I'm trying to think what I had coming up, because I know this is pretty much it for January, I know the next, the next big thing we have is uh, the Resident Evil remake, which of course I mentioned if you saw that video, I'm going to be doing that on stream. Um, so, I mean, we basically got this. This is what we're, we're throwing down on until, like, Resident Evil or Kingdom Hearts gets down. So, I'll keep it at two episodes a day. Uh, either way, thanks for coming by, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. I know the, uh, the first episode was definitely a little bit slow, and things are going to ramp up fast. Uh, now that we're finally out of the city, going to begin getting all of the loot, getting our party together, and really getting into this game. So, make sure to stay tuned. There is plenty of action to come, and I will catch you guys next time with more Tales of Vesperia.